Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul video. I know I haven't done a haul video in a hot minute but I'm here today to show you guys what I've been buying from Cult Beauty. That is one of my favourite websites to buy anything makeup, especially skincare, but anything makeup, hair, skincare, they even do candles and things. But yeah, it's basically the website that I am on a lot of the times and I'm going to be showing you guys the things that I've been buying over the span of like six months maybe longer so I haven't bought all of these in one go I've kind of like spread them all out but I actually realized that I do have a whole bunch of things from cult beauty so I'm going to be sharing all the things that I've been buying with you guys I'm going to split things up into like skincare body and hair and then makeup but the first thing I want to show you guys is something really weird it's called the bed of nails it looks like this it comes in like this it kind of looks like a sleeping bag kind of thing. In here you have literally a bed of nails. So it's rolled up and basically it looks, it looks like this. It's got these like round plastic spikes on here and I've used this a few times. I basically just lay on it either on my bed for about 15, 20 minutes before I actually go to sleep. Or sometimes I even just put it on my chair when I'm like doing my editing or doing any work. And I really like this because as soon as I kind of lay on it or sit on it, I kind of feel like I can like relax sometimes I feel like my shoulders are too kind of like tense this has really been helping me feel really relaxed and it's definitely helped with any kind of back pain that I have on a side note I do get a lot of back pain I secretly think I'm a grandma <laughs> but I've really been loving this you can get it in different colors but I got mine in black and now I'm gonna move on to all the skincare bits so the first thing is this nurse Jamie uplift massager it comes in this box I've used this a few times my mom loves using this as well but it looks like this and you basically roll this like up and across your face in different ways um, and you can use kind of both ends and it's very very cold and it's basically like giving you a face massage or a facial with just this and it's quite heavy and weighted as well and I love the color of it I definitely need to use this more this is the first kind of skincare thing that I've bought I have thrown in things that I buy regularly on cult beauty and one of them is this glycolic acid this is the liquid gold by alpha hate this has completely transformed my skin I try and use it every night but sometimes I do skip between days and I love the way that this has made my skin texture just really nice and smooth this I feel like is definitely one product that has completely like changed my skincare game and I've been using this for over a year and I always get stocked up on cult beauty the last time I got these they came in a set of three and you basically got one free so I always keep an eye out for my cult beauty emails to make sure that I am grabbing any like staples that I use all the time whenever they're on offer and this is definitely one of them I am gonna link everything that I've mentioned in this video in the info box including prices and things like that because I don't know the prices off by heart uh, but this next product right here is the Charlotte Tilbury magic facial dry sheet mask I've used this once and I literally felt like there's that one guy in like horror movies and it basically makes me feel like that But this is such a weird product like you put it on and it's like a dry sheet mask And before you take it off you kind of like massage your fingers all the way around it And then you take the sheet mask off after 15 minutes and it literally leaves your skin looking so glowy even though this is so dry It's so bizarre. I got mine in a pack of three But you can I think get them individually as well And I think you can use them up to like three or five times per dry sheet mask This is something that I would take traveling because it's dry and it's not gonna leak anywhere um, But I've been really enjoying this as well I bought a bunch of things from pixie one of them being the pixie glow mist This is something that I use a lot my other one is almost finished I love the way that this makes my makeup look really nice and glowy. Let me put some on actually. You have to give it a good shake because there is oil in there, but it makes your skin look really nice and refreshed and it just gives you a really nice glow. This I feel like is almost a subtle version of the Tarcha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist, but it does a really nice job at kind of refreshing my skin and making it nice and glowy. You guys know that I love face masks, so I got this glow mud mask from Pixie as well. It's not open yet, but <laughs> if you guys follow me on Instagram live, you know that I do some um, face mask lives with you guys, but maybe I can do this one next. And if you're not following me on Instagram already, my handle is just Kershaw Beauty. And yeah, I can't wait to give this a go. Maybe I'll do this one as my next face mask. And then the last Pixie thing that I bought is a double cleanse. And this is in collaboration with Caroline Hirons, who is like the skincare queen. And this is basically all around the double cleansing method. I love double cleansing my skin I like my first cleanse to be the cleanse that is taking actually my makeup off and the second cleanse to actually cleanse my skin And this is basically a two-in-one again This is something that I could take traveling with me because it's just so travel friendly. It's all nice and plastic fied 
if that is even a word. But yeah, I love my skincare routine and I love doing like just skincare steps. So this for me, when I saw it on Cult Beauty, I was like, get into my basket right now because I definitely need to try you. I haven't actually tried this yet. This is more of a newer purchase, but I can't wait to give this a go. Maybe when I'm next traveling, I'll take this with me and do some Instagram lives and we can kind of test it out together. So the next two products are from The Ordinary. This is a brand that I hear everybody talking about and I understand why there is so much hype around this because this is one of the most like affordable yet luxury skincare brands that I've kind of tried. I feel like these products are really like to the point, like they do what they're talking about. This is the Advanced Retinoid. This is like a, just an all round amazing product for your skin. It's supposed to make your skin really nice and even toned and and really nice and glowy and healthy. This does make your skin really sensitive to the sun, so you have to make sure that you wear SPF every single day, which I do anyways. But I love the way that this is kind of helping my skin get back to its like kind of blemish free-ish state. Um, and then the other one that I've got is this right here. This is the lactic acid 10%. And again, it's supposed to help with like texture and things like that. But I will leave all the details of these products in the info box and you can read like the proper what it's supposed to be doing to your skin because um, I just use these at night. I basically take a few drops of both of these in my hand and mix them all up and then just put it all over my face. But I love how affordable The Ordinary is. The Ordinary products in general sell out so quickly that I always make sure that I put my email address to join the waiting list. And basically every time I do that, I get an email saying when they're back in stock. And I love that because that's what I did with these two. And I bought them straight away. And I think they also do free shipping to the UK only, but then it just kind of means that I've got them and I don't have to wait any longer. The next Next thing I got is this J1 jelly pack. I've seen a whole load of people using this as a primer because it's very sticky. I don't really know whether this is supposed to be used as a primer, but I know a lot of people have been using it. I have used this quite a few times. I don't know whether it really does make my makeup last longer, but every time I have worn this, my makeup does generally look quite good after a few hours of wearing it. But when I saw this, I actually saw this as well. And this is the J1 Black Jelly Pack, and it's basically another face mask. And this is an overnight rescue mask for nourished glowing skin by morning. I've used this a couple times, but I don't know whether this has broken my skin out but I love when you take it out it's literally like a black jelly it's so cool okay last skincare thing is this ufo clarifying facial oil and this is from sunday riley i love this this is like a green oil but it's got salicylic acid in it and it really helps keep my blemishes at bay if i find that my skin is like looking like it's gonna like freak out then i'll put this on and i really do think that this helps my blemishes kind of not really form but kind of go away and i think that's down to the salicylic acid that's in this i know it looks green and really weird in the bottle but when you put it on your face it doesn't make your face go green or anything like that i love the Sunday Riley facial oils. I have a few of them, but this has to be my favorite one. And yeah, I just love the name of it as well, UFO. <laughs> So we're gonna move on to hair now, and this product here is the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. This is another staple of mine. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite dry shampoo. Everyone who has like quite dark hair knows the struggle of a dry shampoo because it can make your hair go like white and really like not cute. But this does have that kind of white cast, but when you massage it into your hair, your hair actually feels clean. It's so bizarre, but I love using this. I first tried this out from Sephora, and I didn't realize that you could get this brand in the UK. I really I really do hope they come out with like a double jumbo size bottle of this. And I also love the way that this makes your hair smell. It smells so fresh and clean, but not like cleaning, cleanly clean smell, if you know what I mean. This actually smells more like a really nice high-end shampoo, which I love. Speaking of dry shampoos, I did get the Way Mousse dry shampoo. I didn't like that. This one is definitely my favorite, but I did get some other two products from Way. This is the Matte pomade, pomade. I can kind of really kind of massage this in and like lay all my hair really nice and flat onto my head. I clearly haven't done that today. I just used a bit of hairspray, but I love this because it smells amazing. And I do really love the Way kind of hair care range because I do also have their shampoo and conditioner and it's one of like my favorite high-end shampoos. But then I also saw this on the website. This is the Way Rose Hair and Body Oil and oh my God, I love the way that this smells. I'm gonna put some on now. It smells like you've bathed in roses. I find roses such like a delicate scent that sometimes if you put too much rose into something, then it can get overpowering and a bit too like too much. Whereas this is just the perfect amount. And I love, love, love this on days when I just wanna quickly moisturize and not have to worry too much about like 
opening up a tub of cream and all of that. This kind of just makes me feel like I can moisturize my skin very, very quickly. And the good thing about this is whatever's left on your hands, I can just kind of like run it through my hair and it acts as a hair oil as well. Speaking of body creams, I did also get sucked in and I got the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This has been doing the rounds on social media and I can definitely guess why. This is something that, again, I travel with because I love the scent of this. It basically smells like pina coladas and a beach. <laughs> I know that's a really weird way to describe it, but um, I love, love, love the scent of this. As you can tell, I haven't really made a dent in this because this is quite a kind of rich cream. You only need the slightest amount and it will go a really, really, really long way. Before I move on to the makeup -y bits, I'm gonna show you some more staples. And these are my beauty blender staples. I don't actually have a beauty blender tanned because I need to wash mine, but I always get all my beauty blenders from there and recently I picked up this solid pro cleanser so this is like a huge like black soap you can actually wash makeup brushes in this as well as your beauty blender but I find that these soaps work amazing for beauty blenders because whenever I have used other soaps on my beauty blenders I feel like they get stuck like inside and you can kind of almost feel it when you squidge it and I really really don't like that but I find that with the solid cleansers from Beauty Blender work really amazing at doing like a really nice deep clean so I got myself a big one which I keep at home because this is something that I know is going to last me a very long time but then I also do stock up on their little kind of solid cleaners and this is basically the one that I travel with and there's literally like nothing in here. This is something that I always, always, always take with me whenever I'm traveling because I like to clean my beauty blenders after every single time I've used them because this basically means that I can relax knowing that my beauty blender is really nice and clean and that there's no germs that I'm putting onto my face. But these ones I've basically moved um, over to my kind of travel section, whereas this big one I keep at home with me because it's nice and big and it's gonna last me a very long time. So I was at a shoot a few weeks ago and my blotterati broke because it, got smashed on the floor. So I got a new one of these, got a mirror on one end, and then you've almost got like a flat beauty blender on this end. And this is what I use to kind of soak up any oily areas on my face. And I love these because these are so much more environmentally friendly because you can wash these and you can use them again and again and again. And it's got a really cute little mirror on this side as well. And this actually comes with another one underneath. Right, moving on to makeup. I'm gonna try and make this as quick as possible because I know we've been through a lot of stuff. I got my two Farsali oils. This is the Rose Gold Elixir and this is the Unicorn Essence. You guys know how much I love using these. This one is more of an oily texture whereas this is more of a dry texture. I love using them both together but sometimes I do use this by itself or use this by itself. They are just really good products. I I know these are more on the expensive side, but I do really, really, really like these. And I was so glad to see them stocked on Cult Beauty because I know you can get them from Sephora. I'm yet to do a like Sephora buy from the UK. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of products that you think that I should get, leave me a message in the comment section below because I would love to do maybe like a Sephora version haul of this kind of similar video. I feel like I need to get on that and see what I can get my hands on from America. I'm gonna show you guys my Charlotte Tilbury buys first. This is the Legendary Brows. This is the, I can't actually read the color of it, but it's basically a brown brow setter for my brows. And I think this has become my favorite kind of brow gel. I have this in clear now as well. This for me is better than any other brow gel that I've tried. It keeps my brows like in place. They do not budge and I love them. I love the packaging of it. I love this kind of like rose gold, like sleekness of it. Um, but I really, really have been enjoying that. And then the next two Charlotte Tilbury products that I got is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is the one in the shade number one. This is the lightest. I love using this underneath my eyes. It really helps blur everything out but it sets everything in place so that my makeup lasts all day and all night and then I also got the pillow talk lipstick this is probably one of my favorite lipsticks of the moment it's always in my handbag and I feel like I wear this a heck of a lot this is definitely one of those colors that I feel like I can wear all the time and again I love the packaging of it I love the lip liner of this um, so when it came out in lipstick form I was like yes you need to be mine. Speaking of lips, I also got this Beauty Bakery Lip Whip. This is in the shade Versailles. These liquid lipsticks basically did the round on Instagram because they are like waterproof, smudge proof. Like people did swatches of them all across their arm and like put their arm under the water tap and like they just did not budge. These do have a very kind of like sticky texture to them, but I really do like the longevity of these. And I love that they've bought them out in loads of different colors as well. Next up, we're moving on to eyes. I got myself the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This is a dupe for the Kat Von D liner. 
and I love it. I've got it on today. I do have to pack it with some black eyeshadow just to make it super matte, but I do love this. And I'm so glad that NYX is also available on Cult Beauty because it is one of my favorite like more drugstore brands. So they do have a lot more affordable brands on there as well. I'm going to stick with eyes for now and I picked up this Stila Diamond Dog Liquid glitter. I don't think that's what it's called, but um, this is the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And I love this because it's got like gold and silver and like holographicness in here all in one. And this is very good for like Indian outfits because I love a bit of glitter when it comes to like my Indian outfits and when I'm wearing anything Indian for like Indian events, I just have to have a little bit of sparkle on me. And I love this shade because it's kind of like that neutral color that goes with when I'm wearing silver outfits and gold outfits as well. And keeping on with the glitter theme, I also got this Skinny Dip palette from Jouer. This I am in love with. It's some of the most stunning like pressed foiled glittery shadows that I've ever tried. And you've got like a good mix of like kind of your darker shades as well as your super light cool tone pink toned, silver toned. I really, really, really love this. I just wish it was in like, not cardboard packaging, if you know what I mean. I did wish it was in a bit more like plastic packaging like this one. So I also picked up this Jouer palette. This is the Springtime in Paris Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. Very long name, but it's something like this. I thought I'd get something like this because it's again, very, very travel friendly. You've got all your shades in here and a gold. These are basically the colors that I would wear if I am traveling anywhere. I don't generally go too crazy with my makeup, but I just thought this would be a really, really nice palette. And the color payoff on this is really stunning. Um, one swipe and you're basically good to go. I did get sucked in and I bought one of the most controversial palettes of right now. And it's the Subculture Palette by Anastasia. I've actually got it on my eyes today. I feel like because I know how to use this now that I've given it a few shots at it, I actually quite like the palette. There's no doubt that it is powdery, but I genuinely only dip my brush in once. Literally once and then start blending it onto my eyes. And I mean, my blending on this eyeshadow look isn't too bad. Um, I did skip a little bit um, on my crease, but it doesn't look too crazy. And I love like the palette of this. I feel like it's so unusual, but still so wearable. It's nothing that's gonna basically scare you off. But I am really glad that I did get this because now that I've had my kind of like playtime with it, I feel like I can really work with it really well. And I love the khaki tones in here and also the shimmery shades. I do really, really like it. You've probably seen these before as well on my channel. These are my Morphe palettes. This is the 35O palette, which is your warm tone heaven. These are all a mixture of matte and shimmers. And this is one of those palettes that I feel like you could get and make like a kajillion different makeup looks from it because it is so versatile. You've got your kind of brighter orangey shades. You've got your shimmery kind of gold shades. You've got your darker shades. Shades. One thing that I do wish that it had was a matte black because I love a matte black eyeshadow in every palette. I wish that that could be a thing because that would make my life so much more easier. I did also get the 350S palette and that is basically exactly the same, but these are all shimmery shades. So this is less versatile than the other palette because everything in here is shimmer and I do like my mattes for my like creases and my outer corner. So I would say that if you are a makeup artist or a real big makeup enthusiast, then this is a stunning, stunning palette because again, all the colors in here are just just gorgeous. But if you're not really into like shimmery shades, um, then this probably wouldn't be for you. But again, for these, I was on the waiting list and as soon as they came into stock, I was like, you're gonna be mine. <laughs> One last eye item and it is my Huda Beauty Samantha lashes. I have no idea where I've put them. This is my problem and issue with lashes that I always, I don't know what I do with them. <laughs> I do love these, these are my favorite style, but I do feel like a recent batch of Huda Beauty Samantha Lashes have been a little bit off because mine have been breaking very, very quick. Like literally like breaking in half. There's almost like the thread that keeps the lashes together kind of like comes off and then they break. But I do have a soft spot for Samantha Lashes because these are the lashes that made me fall in love with eyelashes. Um, so I always, always, always get my Samantha lashes from there. Ah, I also bought her rose gold palette from there as well. It's not in front of me, but I did get that from there as well. But I know they stock like all of her liquid lipsticks, all of her eyelashes and her eyeshadow palettes and highlighter palettes and things like that. So it's a really good place for anyone in like the UK or anyone who wants to just order stuff online. Um, a good place to get like Huda Beauty from. But now I've got my last item and it's a highlighter. It is this highlighter right here. This is Citrine and this is from Jouer. This again is a highlighter that loads of people were talking about on social media and I get why because it is a stunning shade. It's probably one of my favorite kind of goldy shades. This and Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. They have to be my like favorite, favorite, favorite high-end like goldy highlighters. But yeah, this is the last 
item in my ridiculously big, long cult beauty haul. I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing just the things that I've been buying over the past six eight, seven months. I know it's a heck of a lot of stuff, but yeah, I just wanted to do something a little bit different from my kind of tutorials and get ready with me's, which I've been doing a lot recently. So yeah, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I guess I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!